Hi. Well, welcome to the Adore Knit Podcast. <laughs> Late knitting again. <clears throat> These are my two sons. This is Tristan and this is Roland. <laughs> and I'm knitting. And stop it, stop it, stop it. And they are the main reason why I am late recording this. <laughs> okay. Stop. Right now, I am working on my August Desert Vista Dye Work socks. I am using size one needles, which is not my typical, and it is a little bit looser than I would like. But, um, this is the Peter Max colorway. This is a purple color. I don't know if you could see that, but <laughs> but I wanted the orange. I wanted the colors to line up a little better, Mom, so I, I am striping out? in every Wait, other can color. Can you just go run around? Yes, you can go run around. That's why we're here at the Albacore Park. Yes, go run. Use your swords. I wish they could see the submarine. And it has a beautiful park around in front of it. And we just toured the Barque Eagle Coast Guard sailing ship. Uh, it took about an hour. It was free. Something fun to do with the boys. So we just toured that, which was a good hour, you know, complete all that walking and good for me, good for them, good to get us out of the house. It's 80 degrees, but I am in the shade, so I'm doing okay with that. I don't handle heat well. So anyway, so I'm knitting these, I'm striping the colors myself because I don't like the way that they went, but they're so totally Halloween, which if you've been to the shop recently, you'll see that the uh, most recent update is... Are my glasses crooked or is like this eyebrow higher? <laughs> so these are my August Desert Vista Dye Work socks. I think you can see that that stripe is purple. Purple, orange, lime, and then a lighter shade of lime. Uh, these are the Peter Max colorway, but it's uh, kind of different. I don't know. I, I look at the inspiration picture and I can see it, but then mine looks different from other people's. And uh, Susan said that each one is unique. So, okay, mine looks a little different. Um, I am striping to break up the two shades. It looks like two shades of green to me and the way it's dyed, they're next to each other. And so I wanted them separate. So I'm just knitting the two strands and striping them out a book. Um, the boys are playing swords behind a tree. It's fine, right? So I'm using size ones there or maybe they're yeah, I think they're ones because they're a little bit bigger than I normally knit. I am doing my standard ow, two by two rib on the front and stocking it on the back. And it's August 2nd and I've done all this. Yesterday I had a good chance to get some knitting done. So I'm also carrying with me that I can share with you this finished object. So... These are the Mustang Mittens. They were for my July Desert Vista Dye Works Club that I did. And I made a mistake. <laughs> so that's where I was on the first one last time you saw it, right? No, second one, last time you saw it. So I finished the top of it and then put in the thumb, which is an afterthought thumb. Uh, I can't remember who the pattern's by, but I'll include it in the notes. So for this one, <laughs> I made two right-handed mittens. There are instructions on the pattern on how to do um, left-handed, but I was traveling and not paying real close attention to which hand I should be knitting, and so I knit two right-handed ones. So it would be pretty simple to, you know, snip this off, kitchener it together and then 
at it on the other side, which I might do. I'm not sure. We'll see. But I did stripe two different colors for the thumbs, and then the cuffs ended up with that and that, which I really like. And I used 80, like 80% 80 of the skein, way more than I use when I knit socks. So I was excited about that much getting done. Gosh, there's like, are there ants? What is, I don't know, something. So these are done off my needles for July. There goes a tea. Are you hiding? I did hold the yarn double for this and knit the uh, base, the main part, in on a size six and the ribbing in a size five. Stop it. And the thumb in a size five. Somebody hit me on the side. Whoa, big muscles. Big <laughs> muscles. So there's one more project that I that's gotten most of my attention this week. Or last two weeks. Rolling. Okay, so the other project that's taken up quite a bit of my time has been the Sunset Highway. Oh, look, the colors look really pretty. So I finished the bottom hem. I'm not sure if you had seen that last time, but I did the version to give extra inches so it doesn't roll, but it totally does. So hopefully blocking will help that. Um, I had two versions of the sleeve and I went out on Instagram and I said, help, which one do I do? And the red one most people like the red so that's about my bicep and my elbow and then this is the cuff really long cuff i thought six inches was crazy long but then when i put it on it's perfect so i have it bound off there's a, an in, invisible bind off for ribbing there's a couple out there but there's one that mm -hmm. involves kitchener that i've never done before but i'm intrigued by so i want to do that one serious gave it to me okay so the first sleeve is almost done except for the bind off I have it bound off because I want to make sure that they're exactly the same but here is the second one I need to do a couple more rows of rounds in the red and then I'll start doing the, the blue contrast again so really fun knit actually and it was great car knitting so, that's it for my knitting this week I have a shop update that I'm going to share with you right here. Welcome to the late summer adornet update. First up, we have some refreshing coffee drinks. I love this ice mocha frappuccino. And we also have a nice cup of joe with whipped cream on top. I think of it as an ice peppermint mocha. <laughs> Uh, for basketball fans, I know we're a little off season, but we do have two different Celtics options. And Red Sox fans, we brought back some baseball, a different choice for you to choose from. And thinking about football, we have, starting with the Patriots, some great matte beads. And then the Steelers, followed by the Seahawks. It's hard to see here, but the lime green rings are really cool. Looking for a little more diversity in our princesses, we've added Princess Tiana from the Frog Prince. And for Harry Potter, we now have a Hogwarts marker set, so you can show your school pride. Halloween is just around the corner, so here we are with our jack-o'-lanterns and spooky cats. Uh, the Great Pumpkin. Everybody loves Snoopy and the gang. And here is our Witch's Brew, backed by popular demand. And lastly, we have a super cute pumpkin and bat. So, if anything interests you, please come visit us at adornit.etsy.com, where you will find free shipping on orders over $20. Thanks. Bye-bye. And I think that's it for this week. So thank you. This has been an unconventional episode, but thank you for sticking with us. Uh, it's August 2nd, so we have about a month longer in the summer, and then I'll be back to more of a normal routine. So hopefully I can do every 10 days or so, but if I can't, you know why, right? Swords. <laughs> Happy knitting. <laughs> 
This is the Buccaneer Talk. Today I went on a ship. What did I do? I walked. And you walked. You did lots of walking. And I got tired of watching. And I even got this sword. Mm. Okay. It's he, a nice sword. Here is the it's more of a dagger. This is like a. This is like the sharp part. It's called a blade. Oh. This is like. I even got a flower thing right here. See? Hmm. That green thing. Nice. And then like there's like this. Wait. And also today we have my brother, which is putting his sword behind me. See, that's. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he just fell down. I am mad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello. And this is AfterShow.com. And we are going to fight Tristan. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>